Hey everybody, it is quarter past one on Saturday 22nd of February. It's been a while, but it's time for today in my boo journal. So how are you? I have been bullet journaling, I just haven't been doing videos. Um, just life gets in the way sometimes and therefore I just don't, you know, get a chance to come on and do it. It's not so much the recording, it's the editing <laughs> afterwards that's the pain in the ass. So I thought, well, today's a quiet day. I've had a bath, I've washed my hair, I've got no makeup on, that's why my skin looks absolutely fucking dreadful. Um, but it's been well moisturised, so I'm just waiting for the of the psoriasis to calm down. Um, I've got a mug of tea, but no correction, I had a mug of tea, I've drunk it. And uh, I thought I'd come on and get caught up. Um, I am pretty much up to date. I have been, like I said, I have been bullet journaling. I just haven't been showing you guys. But you know, I gained a new subby today. Um, and um, I thought, you know what? I've gained a couple of new subbies in the last week or so. I really should be putting some content out for you guys, shouldn't I? So here you are um right i'm going to scooch my chair and i'm probably not the table because i'm still getting used to this see this new set basically the reason why is because i'm now on the edge of the table rather than in the middle how i used to be because i've put this table here yeah so whenever i scooch my chair forward i hit the table leg which then proceeds to make everything go earthquake so <laughs> never mind right so yesterday yesterday we were using this pen and I did all of that and I did my night care routine before I went to bed. Lovely. I posted my mood and pain trackers last night. Um, there is my mood and pain trackers. <laughs> so, yeah, they're all up to date. So I'll do them. In a, right, last night's steps. I don't know. Where did I put my phone? That's the other thing. Everything's been moved, you know? The unit that used to be there, not the Calyx, the rainbow unit is now there. And the printer is like miles away. Because I can't actually, I used to be able to just reach it. Now I've got to stand up and lean over the table. So it's it's all taking a little bit of getting used to. But the, re the main reason I did it was so that I could use my um, sewing machine and my typewriter more in my journaling. Which is, you know, really why I'm doing it. So yesterday was 14,487. So what have you all been up to? Are you all good? Are you all like, you know, having a good week and all that lot? This week's been a little bit better, I think, really, all told. Um, I had a friend round the other day with her little girl and the kids had a great time. Her daughter's a year older than Daryl, but they see each other a lot because the way the school set out, um, they're like practically next door to each other in the way of classrooms and the play areas um, during like morning break and all of that lot, they're in their own areas at lunchtime they mingle with the rest of the school, but their areas are like, like right next door to each other. So they see each other quite a lot and um, they're good friends. So it was nice to actually have somebody come over. Right, what did I do yesterday? I didn't do a lot. Well, I did, but not anything that's in, in my chores. Um, I, technically, I did clean the pet bowls, just not the cat and the dog one. I moved my snakes around last night. Um, you may remember I told you a few weeks ago my python died. Well, my python had the biggest viv, which I always was a bit mm, about because the python barely fucking moved. Whereas the corn snake, who was in a smaller viv, and the little western hognose, who is in basically a really useful box, were quite active. And I always said, you know, I'd like to get rid of the python and actually move everybody up a viv. Well, the python died. So last night, I was going to do it a few days ago, but I ended up spring cleaning my office. And then I was like, I don't want to get that shit out because the bedding... It's called Lignacell. It's basically sawdust. It goes everywhere. The minute you open the bag, it's all over the fucking floor. Even if you don't spill any, it goes everywhere. But I moved everybody up last night into larger vivs. So my corn snake, I've got a white corn snake. She's now in like the biggest viv. And I thought she'd be really easy to move. I just thought she'd go in there, she'd scoff a mass and she'd be well happy. Well, she went in there. She had a bath in her water bowl, drank a shitload of water. 
and then proceeded to sulk for the rest of the night and has refused food, which is like unheard of. She never does that. Whereas the little hog nose hissed at me, told me he'd kill me because he's big and fierce. Um, uh, uh, scoffed two two mice, two little baby, they're called crawlers, they're about that big, two crawlers. Um, he also had a bath in his water bowl and probably went to sleep. I thought it would be the other way around. I thought the hog nose would refuse the food and the part of the, um, not the, part of the corn snake, she'd be fine, but no, it's the other way around. So the corn snake's sulking in her new hide, but she seems quite happy. She pokes her nose out every now and then and sort of tastes the air. So I haven't done anything. I'm so behind, guys. Okay, so April and Mary, your music and your your little package with your um, the stamps that April wanted that is in the, with your stickers as well is packed and ready to go. It's not posted. It probably be tomorrow because I'm not dressed for going over the shop. Um, I've also done up a little package for Barbara and Rachel. You've also got some stuff coming. As I thank you for all the stuff you sent me. But it's stuff that I, I hope you would use. The only thing is, is I actually need to reopen the package because I forgot about your chocolate. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the shop tomorrow, see if they sell it. And um, if not, I'll try the shop down the road and I'll get you chocolate and wrap it in some bubble wrap or something. I hope it makes it to you without completely falling to pieces, being as it's a flake and, um, well, flaky. So that was that. And I did a little bit of journaling. As you may remember in the live, I told you about some sticker paper. Where is it? I bought this online. And the reason I bought this was to try to use it as photographs. Um, while I love my sprocket, and I do love my sprocket, you guys know I do because I, I use it quite a bit. Um, whenever I do photos, I do, you know. And this is half a sprocket sheet. Okay, so I normally wait until I've got two photos and then I stick it in here like this was me documenting when I went to get my dreadlocks okay um this is my son that he's say I use my sprocket a lot yeah but there are times when I think well you know I want a slightly bigger photo or something like that and I read on one of the um I think it's one of the bullet journal groups it might be one of the junk journal ones I might be wrong somebody said well I use sticker paper I said, well, where do you get it? What, which, which type do you get? Blah, blah, blah. So she said, well, I get the matte one. And Angel, who watches, she also gets this. Um, I didn't know that. By that point, I'd already ordered it. But there you go. She was in my life when I opened it. She went, oh, yeah, I use that. So I I bought it. These were all printed on that. I'm impressed. For sticker paper, with a cheap-ass printer, I've only got a HP Desk Jet 3630. And I paid like 30 quid for it, brand new. Okay, so it's cheap ass. I mean, Christ, the, the ink cost me about as much as what the printer did each time I have to reuse ink. I'm thinking I may do this more often. Um, there's some little bits that I think Ileana sent me these. I might be wrong. I don't know. I've opened two mail packages this week, so I'm a bit confused as to what came out. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. I think I may buy the glossy just to give that a shot. Um, or if anybody's got a sheet of glossy and wants to try the matte, maybe, you know, we'll swap a sheet. I'm up for that. So, um, yeah, so what I did is I... I <laughs> the only thing I'm, I'm not very good at is I need a program on my computer where I can collage the photos so that I can see it. I actually end up doing it in a word processing program. Um, I use a Mac, so I do it in pages because I can have a representation of the entire sheet on there. And it tells me how big the, the photographs end up at. Like it said, that was three by four, I think it was. I need to get a ruler that does inches. I love this ruler, but it doesn't do inches. Um, yeah, I think that was three by four. So it gives me an idea of how big it's going to be when I put it on the sheet. Is there a, a, a picture program that does that, guys? You know? Because that would just be so much easier than having to open pages. Not that it's that much of a bother. So yeah, I wouldn't mind trying the glossy just to see how it comes out so if anybody's got glossy sticker paper yeah i mean if it's this company even better and wants to trade a sheet to have an experiment with the mat i'm up for that let me know down below or chuck me a pm on instagram twitter facebook any of those i'm up for it okay just let me know what why you're why you're doing it Ooh. my video lagged for a second there hopefully it didn't on the actual recording 
So, I stuck all these in yesterday. This is a pest card I received from Barbara. Barbara is 49 Dragonflies. Total fun good moment. Um, I discovered Barbara several months ago and spent like two weeks binge watching. Literally, if I wasn't doing anything else, I was watching Barbara. Um, doing her junk journals and I love hers and Johanna Clough's uh, journals as well and I took the plunge and said to Barbara the other day do you fancy trading postcards and she did she sent me this which is lovely she said um hang on let me just stick my postcard over my little address even though I share my address with anybody that asks I don't really want it blurted all over the internet you know it's funny isn't it um Uh, dear Sam, uh, I took a walk to the city centre today to look for a postcard for you and was very happy to find this vintage looking one of beautiful Vienna. I really hope you like it and that it will fit nicely into the rest of your postcard collection. Sending hugs, Barbara. And it's got a gorgeous stamp on it of um, uh, horse carriage, which kind of goes with the whole vintage type thing. So I used some vintage tape to stick it in. She did write the date. She sent it on Valentine's Day, which I was like, ah! <laughs> So there you go. So let's change the pen. For my new viewers, um, I colour code everything. Yeah, I colour code e each day has a different pen. So, like you'll see, I colour it in up here, except when I do it on brown paper. Um, this is the the day that day's pen, and everything gets marked with that particular day. So like yesterday was that darker pen that I've just put away. So not only do I colour that 21 in, but also everything I mark off in here, in all my trackers, so that I know whether I did it on that day or not, or whether I did it on a different day. So there you go. Right, today I have done my day face cream. I did it after my bath. Oh, it's lovely. I'm also trying that um, Touch of Silver shampoo to see whether it actually does any difference on it. It doesn't look any different, but there you go. Because I'd like to whiten it out if I can. At the moment, it just looks grey. And sometimes I'm, I'm like, does it look grey in sunlight? So I'm trying to get rid of any, if there are any tones there to, you know, calm it down. So let's pull a card. Do you know what? We can pull a card for today because it's only 20 past one. So let's use the oh, under 10 in my tarot box that doesn't happen often Stick that under there. Um, let's use the everyday enchantment tarot which is 623 and today is the 22nd so have you all been all right I hope so it's been very very quiet online and I don't just mean the people that I regularly talk to I mean, everybody seems to be You've got some people are putting out no content at all, like I haven't been. And then you've got others that are, some people sort of like, are filling in the gaps, if you like, which is great, you know. Somebody got a perspective on the horizon. The Two of Cups is, is, is the other lover's card, really. Um, cups, as you know, is to do with water and is therefore to do with motion. Um, I like this it's two guys um i didn't notice that before um it's love it's card of love you know which is quite appropriate really being as valentine's day was only a week or so ago so is this you do you have a prospective bow on the horizons do tell spill it all down below come on give us all the gossip um yeah if if there's somebody you've been stepping around or you've been thinking about you know shall i ask them out for a coffee or a drink or pizza or you know netflix and chill whatever you know where now's the time go for it go for it send them a message do it now stop it pause me right now and send them a message ask them out what have you got to lose at the end of the day all they can do is say no isn't it really do you know what i mean you'd be no worse off than you are now and you might be a hell of a lot more better off give it a try you never know Right, let's grab a pen. This I don't colour code, the actual, I do use a different pen every day because when I do fill it up, it just makes it easier for me to read rather than going, oh shit, you know, and having to draw lines across. But um, 
yeah I just scroll scroll through my ink joy collection to do that so um what did I use last time brown so we are wrong blue so I've put lovers in the air now is the time to think about asking them out go for it hey you what? Hurting. You're hurting. Where are you hurting, baby? In your tummy. In your tummy. Be all that chocolate waffles you had for breakfast. Isn't it? You think it's all that chocolate waffle you ate at breakfast? You don't. You don't think the chocolate waffles are to blame. I think the chocolate waffles might be to blame. You know. Mm mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's have. Oh, you want some orange? Your cup is already filled and out on the side. Go and get it. So let's pull a card for tomorrow. The reason I'm pulling a card for tomorrow is because I do actually usually do my filming and all that in the evening, but my son's coming up tonight to watch Picard. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to get a chance to. I'm on the ball. I've had a bath. I've cleaned the kitchen. And... Um, Dinner is dinner is bubbling away in slow cooker. So let's switch across to this pale green. Right. I need to at some point go down and change all the links down below my videos as well because they're all affiliate links and. Um, I lost my affiliate status after applying for it because nobody ever clicked on my links. So I figured, uh, uh, but I don't know whether the links themselves still work. I need to check them. If they do, I'll just leave them as they are. But it just means I can't make more affiliate links. Um, I don't know. Right. I wonder if I can make one of those Amazon store things that people do, you know? Strength is pretty much exactly what it says on the tip. You're stronger than you realise. Um, things haven't been great, especially not for me the past year or so. Um, it's been a hard year. <laughs> it's been a hard couple of years, I think, actually, hasn't it, really? Um, not just for me, but, you know, I know some of you have had some difficulties all around the world. There have been, you know, there's been tragedies. Um, you are strong you you can cope with this okay it's there it's deep down inside you um and that's why people seem to rely on you even when you think you can't cope with it anymore people are still going to keep coming to you because you make them feel safe sorry about the background noise my washing machine is on what I've put is you're stronger than you realise, which is why people keep coming to you. Because we're all guilty of it, aren't we? We're all, all like, oh God. You know, I'm at my wit's end. Why are you coming to me with your problems? Well, that's why, because you're strong and you're quite capable. Um, I'll do that later. Okay, so sleep last night was quite good, I think, by the look of things. So half twelve until well, it says nine thirty, but that was just when I was in bed because Daryl keeps like waking me up in the morning, insisting I get up. Which I think is bloody rude, personally. But there you go. You know, he moans at me that he's hungry, and I'm like, well, you know, why is this my problem? <laughs> Totally unfair that I've got to keep feeding him. I know you probably can't see that, it's quite a light colour, but I like it. Day Saturday, yes, it is. Um, why did I fill in those? I filled those in on the wrong day. Oh well, okay, so I've done the loo, I've got some laundry on. Um, I need to vacuum downstairs. Dishwasher is full. I've done the worktops. Why didn't I fill those in for yesterday? Oh dear. Never mind. 
Okay, so let's jump forward. I haven't really got anything to put in for today because I'm not doing a lot. So what I thought was maybe I could use one of these prompts for um, Maud. Calligraphy your name vertically, then use the letters horizontally to write characteristics about yourself. Make them really nice. I like that one. Make a list of your family members and behind their names write the reason why you appreciate them. And I might do it that I like calligraphy it. I need to divide this page into six. So six rows is six squares. I highly recommend you make one of these, it makes life so much quicker. <laughs> okay, so let's grab my calligraphy pen. In trouble doing it backwards, you tend to smudge it. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for that to dry for a minute. Oh my! Sorry about that. That was um, my 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 son phoned me up in one of his tears horses, and uh, yeah, I had to deal with that. So, so what were we doing? We were doing this, weren't we? With my little Charlie. Draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up that little bit of paper. So if you um, have any experience with autistic children or autistic people, I can't call him a child. He's nearly 30, fuck's sake. Um, you will quite understand my... <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, um, he's, he, he volunteers for a club that's like helped him out loads and loads and loads. They've got a shop and um, they've d apparently asked him if he changes hours and he's completely freaking out about the whole thing. Autistic people don't like change and Carl is, uh, is uh, very much under that bracket. Now, my glue stick fell on the floor earlier. I didn't bang the table. <laughs> I just, last minute, I was like, <gasps> don't bang the table. So... I am going to, I'm going to sort of stick it here, so I'm going to erase that line. This paper is um, tea or coffee dyed, it's one of the, I don't, I don't know, I just did a whole batch with a bit of both. Mostly tea actually. Coffee dyeing comes out darker, um, although I did hear, oh, I tend to do a mixture now, but um, was it uh, Genevieve, She's, she puts a bit of vanilla in hers to give it a nicer smell, but I can't actually smell that on mine. That smells more like tea than anything else. So I'm going to overlap that map a little bit. These little prompts and things like this are great for when you just can't think of something to write. Yeah. So let's start off with green because my mum is colour coded green in my book and I'm going to write some nice things. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to finish watching the YouTube video that I was watching. You'll be hyper -lapsed. I'm not going to read that out because it's it's that's personal, really, more than anything. But 
yeah I actually really like how this has come out it's re it's come out really really nice and this is a great thing to do if you are stuck for something to journal today or you know something like that um I will try if I remember how to to link to these prompts down below but it's, you know you don't necessarily have to use these prompts there are hundreds on Instagram actually of bullet journal ideas and prompts and things you can do um, I went for these ones because instead of sort of copying things which is what I was doing which is just draw something or write you know write something in um, like this was a quote on it on the challenge that I was doing uh, where is it? yeah these were these were the challenges um, I got quite bored with that quite quickly whereas these prompts were it's, it's, it's to fuel your imagination so I quite like this idea and I think I will try to do more of these as time goes by especially on like a day like today where I'm not doing anything I've got up had a bath clean the kitchen dinner's on I'm reaching about now until tea time after dinner um, Daryl will go to bed Alex is coming over to watch the card and you know uh, that's pretty much it it's going to be a nice quiet restful day the only thing is I need to do about 13,000 steps because <laughs> I haven't done any so that's it um yeah I'm going to leave that there and go and check the dinner it's bolognese yum what are you having <coughs> I hope you found this helpful thank you so much for joining me today um please feel free to give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it um if you you know if you do give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down please do say why down below um i do like comments comments do mean more traffic to my channel but i like interaction with you anyway and each comment will get a like a love or a written response doesn't matter what it's about um if it's spam it'll just get ignored don't forget to click the book down in the bottom hand corner all the way down there to subscribe and nowadays it's it's changed a little bit you have to click the bell if you want to be notified um, you click it and it will give you the option to personalized all or off if you click all then you will get notified whenever I upload a video if you click personalized it's only I think when I respond to a comment of yours and if you click off you won't actually get notified but you will still be subscribed so yeah whichever whichever you prefer i love them all thank you so so much for joining me today i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and um there'll be a live tomorrow yeah there will be a live i'm going to have a go at making an ephemera book i will leave a link to barbara's video up in the icards on how to make that um and i'm going to have a go at copying yeah which means i will be getting up my trusty sewing machine which is over there so that will be coming here and i will be going between the two but i will make the picture of me full screen like so so you'll be able to see that i'm working over here and i will come backwards and forwards and then change the screen to show you this is what i've done so far and all of that kind of thing anyway take it easy guys and i will see you tomorrow 7 30 p.m uk time 2 30 p.m eastern work it out from there i don't know the rest <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a good one. Take it easy, guys.